All right, welcome to the series. Uh, I hope the sound is good. You guys can hear me okay. Um, so today I thought that uh, we start out this Think Like a Don uh, series with them, some uh, to, uh, tosujis. Um Basically, these are uh, locally um, attacking moves or defending moves that are uh, good moves. Um, brilliant move, some people would say. Um, and I feel like these are very important uh, to break through uh, from Q to Don, to show Don. Um, when I was playing around 5 Don, uh, five Q to 1 Q level and then finally being able to break through, I remember um, this was exactly what happened, was... I was able to win all the Tsuji battle when there was Tsuji battle to win. Um, I'm not saying that's all you need, but I'm saying that's part of it. So today uh, we're going to be uh, going over some of the good ones that um, I find like are very useful during games. There are cooler ones, but those do not appear during game very much. So let's uh, let's take a look. So here we have two classic Tsuji problem, um, one on the left and one on the right here, very similar, uh, except one is, you know, moved slightly over a little bit, one line. So let's look at the right one first. Uh, I forgot the name of this Tsuji, I'm pretty sure you can just look it up. But right here we see that um, black uh, has two stones hanging towards the corner and white has two stones and so um, it looks like from the outside right if uh, if well it's white's turn to go so let's go ahead and play the stone elsewhere here okay so it's white stone to go and then let's say if white uh, approaches here uh, black can do this and if white connects then this stone is dead this two stone is dead as you can see two versus three liberty and if white try to resist with this and start a co which black will atari here and then white will start a co this is a co which is okay and if you don't know about this Tsuji, then uh, of course you would have to find the ko, or even worse, just give up those stones. If you approach here, and let's say black do this, Atari, uh, you can connect, and if blacks do that, you cannot. I mean, you can try this. Let's see. Here. Right. Okay. So this way, this way, black loses, but black would not do the Atari if you hane underneath like this. Black would simply do this, and then now, if you push one more, black can do this. And okay, so now you still have three liberties versus three. But white cannot approach black's liberty, right? If white connects here, clamp, if black push, that's an Atari. It doesn't work. So white can't do that. And so the only way white can move in to reduce something is here or here but you know if you go here then it's sorry then I versus no I uh, black wins for sure so only move left for white to do is right here and then black will play this now these mo two moves are unapproachable for white so black can just clamp from the outside and finish off the stones. So, 
if this is the first time you've seen this Tsuji, um, it's going to look a little weird. But that's good because it introduced a um, new way of your thinking, new ways you can think about moves instead of just, um, I don't know. But I feel like, you know, this move is simple enough where um, a lot of cues kind of know. But I don't know if during game they would pick it up. The Tsuji is right here. So, um, I guess you can kind of call this a clamping Tsuji. But basically, you play inside and force black to play a move while black cannot gain extra liberties. Okay, so let's say black turns the corner here. So you connect from the bottom and here white have cleanly captured black. There's no way black can get out of this. Right, I remember first time seeing this Tsuji, it was freaking awesome because it's kind of it kind of blew my mind. I was like, oh, you know, I would never have thought to play approach on that side before. Let's say if Black did that, then you would just pull here, and it's the same thing. So, so as you can see, this Tsuji is very useful. Um, it's very large because when the corner is involved, it's very, very large. And in fact, I have played this Tsuji many times during real games. So I know for a fact it does have application and not just a, a test book Tsuji for reading or something. Okay, and let's move on to this next problem. Um, Okay, I know the last one kind might have been kind of slow, uh, but I kind of want to take this as like I'm teaching a friend at a copy house or something, you know. Um, really break it down, and I know some of you guys say you want it um, to break down the concept and stuff, and not just like teach you, oh, this is wrong, this is right, whatever, okay. So if you want it to fast up, you can just put the YouTube speed up to like, you know, 1.5 or 2. That's what I usually mostly do anyway. So I'm going to keep it as a comfortable speed here as it is. And uh, feel free to speed it up as you like. Anyway, so let's move to the one to the left here. Okay, it's very similar to the right. Um, but if you notice, it's one to the left. One, one more to the, the right, I mean, it's farther right. So let's say if we took the last Tatsuji that we played last time, this time it wouldn't work because black is um, farther out now, right? So now, <clears throat> if you did that, you'd be very, very dead um, because now black has a lot more liberties than white to do. So now that one doesn't work. So as you can see, the key difference is very um, small and tiny, yet it makes a huge impact. So that move doesn't work anymore. So if you try this move, but the black did that, and let's say you protect here and black push here, well, those stones are now dead. So that doesn't work. Um, so what about if we bravely play this, right? What about the, uh, the, the, the forcing move here? So we did that, and then that. Um, does that work? Do you think, do you think that worked? Um, I don't know. Let's find out. So as white, where, what else would you play now, right? Here, right? To take away the moves. Okay, we can try that. Black Ataris. Then black connects here. And whoa, look at that. This shape looks just like the other shape last time, if you remember, right? When white plays here. It looks just like it, right? You got three, three liberties. And then they're all unapproachable by white. 
Except for the bottom one, right? Because we talked about that one. This is going to get Atari. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's say white plays here, black plays here. So now unapproachable, unapproachable, two liberties. That means it counts as three or might be even four. You just don't know. Um, At this point, let's say uh, I mean, white can clamp here, and the, that's the only way to uh, kind of approach this. But then uh, black would clamp here and. There's nothing there. Um, I mean, you can try this, but then black would extend. Um, it just no way to work this out. No way. So that doesn't work. Let's go back. So what if? We connect here. Well, that looks horrible because now black has the inside corner and there's no way white's going to be able to save that, right? I know I. Well, that's the cool part about this, Sasuji. Um, this is the correct way to playing it. So what you do is, after this Atari, you connect Black has to Atari from this side. Can't do that. Okay, that's a silly mistake because you can't approach white from either side. That's dead. So, black has only one move. That, and if you extend, okay, and this become a squeezing, uh, kind of like a semi-hammer to Suji on the second line. Okay, so... Black is forced to Atari. And white forces black to capture. Okay, so this is where they say weird things happen in the corner and go. It's because of stuff like this. So now white can able to do a uh, throw in here and black cannot connect. Because if black connects, that is a huge blunder and then white can just capture, right? Um, so it, black can't connect, so black has to capture. But then white will play this move uh, to force black to connect, right? Black has to connect, and then white will move on to the outside and will win the semi because it's three versus two now, or three versus three, but white gets to go first. And if black choose not to connect and do something like jump out maybe or push out um, this Atari is uh, pretty good because black cannot save those stones um, I mean something like this could happen <coughs> but the point is uh, the problem is try to save these two stones because they might be crucial for the outside or something. And if uh, black connects, then black is dead, of course. So just remember this hammer, um, forcing hammer to Suji. So, as you can see, if you go from this side, like that, then you can't save them. But remember, 